Next up on the show, we met up with Jet legend Nick Chester and asked him if he remembered the first time. Oh yeah, I saved up and I bought the cassette of like the, the soundtrack to Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was the first, was a ca I bought the cassette of that. That rap guy who had like one tune. Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice, yeah, I went to see him. <laughs> and my dad took me and he was so, I'd never seen him so angry in my life actually. Yeah, that was this, this Australian band called UMI who I still love to this day. Well, interesting, the first song that inspired me and I, did, I would never have ever thought of this until recently when I was making a playlist for my little baby girl and it was probably, without realising at the time, but like songs from um, like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, like Pure Imagination, you know, like really melancholic. First song I really wrote, um, well the first songs I wrote ended up being on on the first Jet album, really, like, I mean, when that when we were, when I was writing the tunes for Get Born, I was like between it was between the ages of 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, and pretty much all of those songs that they made up in some way, the album Get Born. The first gig we ever played was in a pub in Richmond, in Melbourne, and we were all underage. I don't know how we even got the gig, actually. Now that I think about it, but. It was, um, yeah, we played some of our tunes and then a lot of like Australian bands that we liked, which was a weird choice. Probably Tim Rogers from you or I, if I'm, if I'm honest. In the 90s, there was not really many people that, that I could relate to that made sense. While grunge was happening, and then all of a sudden along came this guy from, from this Australian guy who was speaking a language I understood. Um, playing a style of music that, that made sense to me, that I could relate to, and it seemed like he represented something that was achievable, you know? It's like, I could never be a grunge band from Seattle, but I might just be someone, I could, you know, I might just be able to, to do that. 